before I came here in Oxford, and uh, we are looking kind of central and uh, looking many places, Wales in Scotland, and we found that this is uh, much similarity our country, especially in my home country is uh, not much grow tree but lots of sheep. So it's a sheep land here. <laughs> and the weather is also similar to your country? No, I'm afraid not. This has so much rain, but my homeland is always snow. In a certain way, it's um, small hills in some parts, but mostly it's a sheep farming area. So it's quite nice and a very quiet place. And over the years, it has grown out of all recognition. Yeah, it has been, uh, not only here, but at the international level. We have many centers, uh, different countries, so it's growing uh, many places. So it's the biggest Tibetan center in Europe? Europe, I will say, yes. And what sort of people come here? What can you offer them? Well, we can get to all different uh, types of people. There's some in the early time, we can get many hippies in the 60s, uh, 70, 70. Uh, 71 or 72. Now, nowadays, more older people, uh, educated people, many scientists. And so I think it, the young, younger people are coming little less and the older people coming more. And is it the older people looking for a meaning to life? Yeah, I think so. But this is very much scientifically accepted nowadays. So I think people are more educated and they will come here. We also have school children coming here to learn, teachers coming here to study Buddhism. What can Buddhism offer the world, do you think? I think compassion and to tolerate. And Buddhism do not uh, uh, believe to uh, revenge but Buddhists believe that uh, if we want to get on together, we should must be tolerant to each other. So sometimes there is a rough too. <laughs> it's not necessarily always peace, but most most of the time it's peaceful. But but Buddhism promotes world peace, doesn't yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. Buddhism uh, believes all the religions are equal, and uh, one must respect all the other religion and also respect all the older people, respect the humans, respect uh, anything which is exist um, in this earth and we very much believe in the environment to how to maintain positive and good environment. And what if the people in Scotland, the local people here, made of you over the years? They must have been a bit suspicious when you first came here. I think in the beginning, yes, uh, because we we are we are only a few people. Uh, Sixty, I came here sixty-six. Uh, in the sixty-seven, so people are very think very strange, um, and we don't often to publicly, not necessarily to welcome. We just to do what we think should be done. Uh, so that made it more suspicious. And um, many people think that we may be doing some black magics. Uh, so. But um, when we start uh, our, uh, our organization to the public, and uh, now I think uh, people quite li like it because uh, this is the ask them, them uh, kind of income is the basis in our community because so many people come here. We are not here to try to advertise them, but I think we are happy people come if they wish to come. This programme, we're, we're talking about what might happen if, if Scotland became an independent country mm -hmm. away from England. Mm -hmm. um, would, would it affect you any, any here if that happened? I'm happy whatever has happened, long as there is a peace to, way to achieve that. I think I hated to see there's a 
differentials in the wars because I come from um, different experience and there are so many things happening. And if you long is there is peace and people like it, whether it's independent or non-independent, I think I'm quite happy either way.